I'm JD, and what I'm going to be doing today is basically answering two questions. Let's say you have a weighted grade. It's, a, it's also called a weighted mean or weighted average. So first question I want to find is I want to find the current grade, and then second is what do I have to make on the final to get at least a C in the class? So you have your exam grade, your exam grade, your exam grade, uh, and that's weighted at 60% and your exam grade is 75. Your lab is weighted at 15% and your lab grade is 80. Your homework is 10% and you get 90 because for the most part you've been doing your homework. And then for the final, it's worth 15% and you have no clue what your final is. So first, let's find how would I calculate my current grade? Well, it's a weighted mean. What that means is, <laughs> I get it, mean, mean, average, whatever. So you have summation of W, which is the weight, of the category times whatever the value is, whatever the grade is, over the total weight. This just means sum if you're not used to seeing that symbol, just adding them up. So to calculate this, you're going to have 0.6, which is 60%, but I'm changing it to a decimal times the 75 plus the weight, which is 15% times 80. And these, the 75 or the 80, doesn't really matter if they're a decimal or a whole number, as long as you're consistent. So plus your 10%, which is your homework, which is... Now, what you want to do next to calculate the weighted grader, you add these weights. So 0.6 plus 0.15 plus 0 0.10 gives me 0.85. So you just type this in your calculator. Uh, if you have one of these, you can use parentheses or you can just uh, type in the top part, get wherever that result is, and then divide it by 0.85. So I'm just going to put parentheses around this whole thing and just put in the numerator and then put in the denominator. So that's parentheses 0.6 times 75 plus 0.15 times 80 plus 0 0.10 times 90 and then make sure I have my parentheses in there and then divide it by 0.85 and that gives me 75.65 and I'm rounding so it's approximately that so it's about 77, that's the current grade, but what if I calculate this final in there? How can I do that? Well, you're going to do the same thing as before, but since this is at least a C, you're going to have to use an inequality. So let me, I guess, erase this. So if you need to, pause the video and then write this down. So. I'll erase it. I'm going to leave this formula up here because we're going to need it. So, same kind of uh, formula. And again, we're using an inequality sign, so that's at least. So, I want to get something that's greater or equal to. 70. 
So you're going to do the same thing, but for this, you're going to put in X because you have no clue what they are, what you're going to get on the final. So it's 0 0.6 times 75 plus 0 0.15 times 80, ah, 80 plus uh, 0 0.10. And I don't have to put the zero there. 90 plus 0.15x greater than or equal to 70 all over. If I add all these up, this right here is 1. Alright, so right if I add 0 0.6 plus 0.15 plus 0.1 plus 0.15, that's going to give me 1. So it's dividing by 1, so I don't really have to divide it. But what I want to do is I want to calculate this. So I'm going to plug all of that into my calculator. So it's 0 0.6 times 75 plus 0.15 times 80 plus 0.1 times 90 gives me a 66 so 66 plus 0.15x greater than or equal to 70. What I do next is basically you know, you're solving the inequality, so you're going to subtract both sides by 66. That cancels. You have 0.15x greater than or equal to 70 minus 66 is, I was going to use the calculator, but it's 4. And then divide both sides by 0.15. So x is 3 or equal to clear 4 divided by 0.15 that gives me 26 points 7 I'm just going to round up it's 0 0.6666666666 six, 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 whatever so what that means if this is what you have in the class to get a C you need to get 26.7% on your tests. So hopefully that answers your question and you can just fill out the scenario accordingly to whatever your grade is. So that's it.